Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 4, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any videos later this year. So this episode is coming off of Episode 3, Man of Steel, which is my favourite episode of the season. It was a really, really solid episode. I really enjoyed it. And this episode, as you know, Melissa wasn't actually there for most of the filming, that's why it it may feel a bit weird when you were watching the episode because they never actually show Melissa's face with anyone else in the episode until it's the Danvers sisters scenes and a few little various scenes with Melissa but that was because she was on Broadway totally fine with it it was amazing if you actually got to see the Broadway show beautiful the Carol King musical I actually got to go to New York and see it it was the best thing so I have no complaints about her actually missing the filming of this so that is just so that's just a forewarning for you guys if you didn't know that she was on Broadway at the time when they were shooting this episode because they shot this episode first and then they went back and shot episode 3, episode 2, episode 1 and then at the end of the episode she actually does take off the helmet that was a really nice moment and essentially this episode didn't feel like it actually had such a big impact but also at the same time I felt like we were letting loose of a few of the loose ends that weren't so good about the first few episodes and they were Mercy and Otis Graves. Not a massive fan of them. I wasn't really impressed by the acting so I was kind of happy to see them go off and now I'm happy that it's all down to Sam Witwer and also Agent Jensen who is going to be the Parasites, this new version of him and I'm really looking forward to next episode. If you guys have seen the trailer which I'll break down later today it looks really really good. And so same thing has been happening every few episodes. We've been getting scenes with Red Door to Kara who was featured at the end of the last season, it's the Russian version of Kara and she returns in this episode for an ending scene with her in some sort of stasis chamber or some sort of pod. So what could be happening there is perhaps the Russians are supercharging her but they're definitely training her in order to build up to something and it's probably going to be to take over America or definitely something to do with Supergirl. So I'm really looking forward to seeing Red Daughter. So that is essentially my explainer as to why she's in the pod. It's they're trying to build her up and make her stronger than Supergirl in order to take over or fight Supergirl, something along those lines. And so throughout the episode, the strong point was definitely Alex Danvers. As the director, we get some really, really impactful moments with her. And also along with that, I really enjoyed Manchester Black. I thought he was really good, really do like David Ajala. And it's nice to see a proper British person in the TV show. And you get to see Jean and his mourning and his struggles with the new way of life. I enjoy Jean quite a lot in this episode. But the one thing that I haven't been convinced about is this running plot with this character called Fiona. This British person with a really terrible English accent, which by the way really annoys me. As I've previously expressed like on The Flash last season with Amunet Black, that just annoys me. So apart from that, I didn't really feel like I actually cared about her so that death wasn't impactful I just felt like they played it wrong with her although I'm really looking forward to Manchester Black I think he was one of the best parts about this episode so I'm looking forward to him I wasn't really connected to Fiona let me know if you were in the comments below or if you agree with me so now at the end of the episode we with the death of Mercy and Otis Graves we are left with Agent Liberty and Agent Jensen who is now the Parasite so I look forward to this a lot more because I felt like the Graves siblings were actually pulling Agent Liberty down and also pulling what Agent Jensen could be and I'm very optimistic because as you know I loved last episode Agent Liberty was amazing and I think Agent Jensen has a lot of potential especially with that ending scene with him having the parasite inside of him. The other part of the episode that is a callback to season 1 is we got to see the DEO facility from back in season one which was nice to see it once again and one of the DEO agents free some of the aliens and essentially they control the aliens and that's part of the story of the episode and so we wrap it up with a massive fight with Supergirl in the suit once again not a massive fan of that suit I did occasionally feel a bit out of it when they kept on cutting from outside and it didn't seem like Melissa 
because it wasn't Melissa, it was a stunt double in the suit, and Melissa, and they kept on cutting to a close-up, like, Iron Man shot inside the suit. They didn't always feel particularly right, but like I said, I'm not going to put them on that because I'm totally all for Melissa doing the Broadway show because I really enjoyed it. I'm not going to put that down on the episode as a complaint. So that is about it. So I really enjoyed this episode and also I had gripes. So I'm giving this a four stars out of five. It was a very solid episode. As you know, wasn't a big fan of episode one, wasn't a big fan of episode two. I gave them three stars, but then I gave last episode five stars. So I thought this one was a very, very solid addition to what's going to be kicking off further in the season. It's just so far, I don't think the plot is as intriguing as the past stories compared to especially Rain, but also Rhea and Astra. I felt a bit more involved in the plot when I was watching it at the time, and the elements that I'm looking forward to, like I've mentioned in this video, that I'm very happy with is especially Agent Liberty. I think he has a lot of potential as a villain, and also the Red Daughter scenes that we've been getting, so I'm looking forward to her. I do think she'll be the main villain by the end of the season so I look forward to it we're only on episode 4 right now so we're really early days so this is just a taster and I think the way that they're doing this is going to be very good so anyway guys I'll see you guys later goodbye <laughs>